we filled our movies table. Let's turn to ratings. But first, there's an issue. There are millions of ratings and loading can take some time. We want to speed this up. As we have seen in chapter 3, a primary key constraint checks every data record for duplicates. This can take some time because for each row we want to load, MySQL has to search the entire table to see if the key value already exists. The more records we want to load, the more checking has to be done. That's why for millions of records, the loading can become very slow if we have a primary key constraint in the table. The same is true for foreign keys, because MySQL checks these for existing primary keys in the reference table. Therefore, for loading large data volumes, also called bulk loads, I recommend disabling primary keys and foreign keys. We'll add these back in afterwards. In addition, as we have seen in Chapter 3, creating CSV doing this will significantly increase the loading speed. Therefore, we'll transform the timestamp data using a set clause in the load command. Execute the following SQL statements in the MySQL workbench to delete the foreign and primary keys. Make sure your connection does not cut out partway through every time you run some of the longer queries. Go to Preferences, SQL Editor, and set the DBMS connection read timeout interval to zero, as shown here. Then click OK. Then execute the following command to do the actual loading. It will still take a little while. You can see the result here. Let's look at code example 9 in more detail. We begin with the familiar commands to read the file into the table. Then on the third line we say that the fields are separated with a comma. As mentioned, import files can come with different separators and the load statement handles the files accordingly when we provide it with the field termination character. In code example 8, the field terminated by is missing entirely. By default, MySQL assumes tabulators to separate data values. If a different separator character is used, such as in rating CSV, this must be specified accordingly. 
The final two lines show our first simple data transformation. As we explained in chapter 3, the timestamp in Rating CSV is stored as a, in a computer format as an integer, known as a Unix timestamp. This format simply indicates the number of seconds that have passed since January 1st, 1970. So it is basically a large integer. In the set keyword on line 7 in code example 9, we convert this to a human readable data type, namely date time. Let's see how that works. On the sixth line, we define a list of target fields for each of the source fields in the import file, so the data knows where to go. A target field can either be a column in the target table directly, such as user ID, movie ID and rating here, or a user variable, like here at timestamp. A user variable is simply a temporary store named by the user where data can be later retrieved. Here we're telling MySQL that we store the data from the fourth field in the CSV in a temporary table at timestamp so that we can further process it. That's what we're doing on the final line of code example 9. The content of the at timestamp user variable is transformed by the from Unix time function and then stored in the timestamp column. The set statement tells MySQL we store data into the timestamp column. Using the equal sign, we say that we'll store the output of the from Unix time function here. This function does the transformation to date time. The result can be seen here in the result grid window. Recreate primary and foreign key constraints. We have deleted the primary key constraint for loading efficiency, but we will need it for documentation as well as for reading efficiency. So let's recreate the key after loading. We have deleted the foreign key constraint that would have ensured the correct references between tables. Now it could be that we have imported ratings that refer to movies we don't have in the movies table. The DBMS can't create the foreign key constraint unless all references are correct. Just to be sure, let's delete all ratings that do not reference a movie that exists in the movies table. After that, we can safely recreate the foreign key constraint.
We now know how to transform data before loading. Sometimes, however, it is easier to transform the data only after loading into the database itself. For this, we will use the SQL DML commands introduced earlier.